The upstairs is finally done and we are ready to show it. Let's go into Gina's room. Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Brittany Xavier and I'm so excited that, dun dun dun, the upstairs is finally done and we are ready to show it. I'm so excited to film this video. This is the completion of the part one, which was our bottom floor walkthrough. If you guys want to see that, click here. Bobuccini, you want me to hold you? Bobuccini, you want me to hold you? You show them everything? Okay, okay, come here. Ugh. Yeah, just show them the house, okay? One of my favorite features of the house is a custom area we made, particularly with our two little doggies in mind. And it's something that we never had at any other space that we've lived in. The idea for this was to make our dogs feel like they had their own home that was the same kind of design, but more permanent than a bed that we could just move around everywhere. So are you ready for their, is it a dog house? I guess that's what it's called, right? Three, two, one, ta-da! I'm dead. It's so cute every time I look in there. <laughs> they have a mirror so they can get ready in the morning. No, but we have this plexiglass. So the idea was when people are over, and say they're barking and going crazy. We can keep them in here, but they're still open. They can see everything. But I don't like when you open doors and if you're not familiar with dogs, they jump all over you. So our dogs don't do that because we always keep them guarded off until they get their energy out. We added this can light that's the same type of lights that we have in our room, which you can dim them and it can set the vibe depending on your mood. If they're having a candlelight dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love this bone basket though. Is that so cute? But the nice thing is, is when they're in there for the night. Because... <laughs> Are you sure? Okay. No. So usually what we do is we have this open and so they can go in and out. We cleaned this all for the video. So the glass is so nice right now. When they go in their bed for the night, we leave the doors open. But if they're out and we have people here and we just want this area to look more clean and chic, we can just shut it and it doesn't look like there's a dog area. And their toys we can throw in there, it's nice. So it's kind of like a little hidden spot for them. We also have a little bin for their toys. We do treat them like one of our own children. So I think this was very appropriate. It makes it feel more custom when we think about our house and how we designed it for exactly our needs. This is one thing I love about it because it's so unique to us. So initially this closet was a square, I guess it was like a coat closet, but it was pretty shallow. It ended right here where this wall starts. It wasn't really useful because you couldn't really fit that many things. So our idea, we thought maybe we could see if it's hollowed out. If it's able to be hollowed out, then we can turn it into a dog area. And the other nice thing about this is that Anthony uses this area to hide all of our cords behind our TV. So our TV is really flat to our screen and it's very seamless. It looks really nice over there. And this is how we get it like that. I love this design, I'm obsessed with it. So if you come up the stairs, these stairs were a huge improvement. The railing before was a little outdated and it felt a little unsafe, especially knowing that we were gonna have coffee. So I love this new Venetian plaster and it just feels so much more character to the home and it really matches the vibe. Come up to the hallway and we have this amazing artwork from Hannah Polskin. What's the matter? Why are you with daddy? Oh, you want to hold you? I am obsessed with her art and I knew I wanted a piece in my house from her. This is such a beautiful custom piece. She did chocolate brown, which a lot of her pieces are black. And this, I feel like really matched our vibe. And it's just a, such a statement. It's a little moment to hang out. This is from Lulu and Georgia. I love so many of their pieces. They have really nice accent pieces in our house. And this is so comfortable, modern. I just really like the vibe. We also have a no shoe policy upstairs, so that kind of keeps everything clean. Oh wait, I probably should do a reveal. Oh, mommy, can do it. Okay, okay. You want to show him this? Push it open. Ready? Push. Uh, push it open. Wow. Welcome to our master bedroom. Do you want to show him how you walk? You can kind of do a little bit of walking. Oh, <gasps> look at this baby! You're getting so big. Go, puppy, go. Go, puppy, go. Can we show him the room? So you come in here and we have our gorgeous headboard. It's completely custom and which I love working with Eric's team because everything really made specifically for the space. So I love the warm the neutral colors. I just am really obsessed with everything came out. We did a touch of color with this artwork. The closets you can see on our other YouTube video, I'll link it here. It's a 
container store redesign with the Avera designs and I love those, they're really useful. When you come into the bathroom, this idea was to have an area where I can get ready and I'll have to set up lights, almost like a little vanity. The nice thing about this cabinet is it has all my serums, everything is hidden within the mirror. I like the design of this. We also did a Venetian plaster in here and our steam shower is one of my favorite amenities of the house. It's so relaxing, especially if you have a hard workout or really makes you tired before bed. So, and it saves more water than doing a bath. So this is a really good way to go. The steam controls. So what's it called? Technology. <laughs> Anthony and I sit in here and we listen to a podcast. We have a, a waterproof speaker that we set up and it's really fun. It's a little resort. Oh my baby, come here, come to mommy. Go to mommy's, go to mommy's. Our gorgeous bathroom that I absolutely love. I feel like it's very warm, inviting, and we have storage that is hidden, which is nice. The toilet's over here, but the nice thing is I have needed a lot of space for my beauty closet. I have a lot of samples I like to try before I recommend anything, and I switch things out when I have back stuff. So that's where this comes in, and I love it. Poppy's bath toys are here, so I'm gonna give her a bath and put it away. It's Everything's really concealed, which is nice. Let's go into Gina's room. Should we show you then your room? Tiki, tiki, tiki. Okay. Three, two, one. On my side. Jaden's room. Tell me all about it, Jay. Tell me okay. your inspiration. Yeah, my, our, my inspiration was Pinterest. My idea was to put storage drawers underneath my bed so I can have more storage because there isn't really storage to put dresser. Yeah, there wasn't a ton of space in here. We really needed to be mindful of that because otherwise there would be a big dresser here. I feel like that would have made the room so... But this was a custom built bed. Eric's team helped design this and I just love how everything came out with the... What are you talking about? I'm taking over. I have my shoe wall, I have my poster, my desk. The nice thing about the desk, it's a dual, works as a vanity. When it's turned off, she can do her homework on it. It's very useful. <laughs> And I just love the vibe in here. Oh, I love that. Changes so colors. And the full size mirror, of course, when she gets ready in the morning, nice to do a little I didn't have check. a mirror for a while. That like just came in too. We didn't have a full size mirror in the house until the one in my room too. So we would always be coming to that little one. It's and try to so big. It's like. I love it. And I like that her room so is very cutesy. colorful, but if she ever gets sick of the items, she can always just easily swap it out without having to do anything to the walls. And these are bean bags. And sometimes I take them out and put them on the floor. Why don't you take it out, so. Okay. So I do this, and I take it, and I put it on the ground. So you have two of them that are at the edge of your bed. So if you have friends over, you can have two chairs, they can sit up there. It's a vibe. I love the display of your shoes. That was something. I'm trying to expand my collection. She wants to add another row of the acrylic containers too just because she has so many shoes and it's a really cute way to show this I love this idea again Jaden's closets were featured in our closet reveal video on YouTube so I'll link it here I really love the purple in here I feel like it's such a vibe very teenager but it can grow into something in here in college I'm have posters like yeah she I wants to have more posters posters. Right there. posters are the vibe for her and then the nice thing about this this TV can be turned Oh, like pulled out. Yeah, so she kind Xbox. of adjusts it. That's about it. Oh. And your room is very funny at night. What's your favorite thing about your room? My bed. It's so nice and fun. Well, I just like that you it's walk so in comfy. and it's so comfortable. It looks very inviting. It looks almost like a big couch. That's TJ's bathroom. Sure. Where's she's bathroom? She's in my room. room. She's trying to put her fingers in that outlet. Oh, okay, cool. Features. This is my bathroom. Come in. It looks so good. Um, Definitely I better than love your bathroom. before. I have more storage yeah you have way more storage i love your mirror she really wanted something that was a blush kind of almost like a little spa feel but modern enough to where she can grow with it yeah and it's not too young feeling but it's also not too adult like it's not like she didn't want to do it too neutral like in my bathroom she wanted to have a little bit of color texture i love how this came out the organic shaped mirror and the top the, the coloring. I just love the coloring with 
the mint and, and the lavender with the window. It's almost like a clay color, I would say. This, I love the way they tiled this. Me too. I was very obsessed with this design when we first the saw it. Light. Love it. When you first walk in, you can't see any of the shampoo and conditioner. It's very hidden, but the fact that it's built in is so nice. And she didn't really have a lot of storage before in her shower, and it would just kind of like get on the side kind of collect water. So I feel like this is a really great design, super functional and very beautiful. And I already showed Poppy's nursery when we originally did the nursery tour. She was about a month old. But I'm gonna give you guys a quick little tour because a few things updated. It's overall the same. I love her room. I feel like every space in the house has been just so personal to us and how we use it, which is why I love just everything, how we've done it. If you wanna see our original nursery tour, check the link out here. It'll be more of a deep dive. You'll notice that the curtains are different. We switched these out for curtains because those are the blackout curtains and they are much better with her naps. Same thing up here. I'm able to draw the shade. And Anthony added a lot more photos on here during Mother's Day. I absolutely love this. It's so personable and she cannot reach any of the photos. I know people were a little concerned about the pins, but they're all really flat and they're hard to even pull out. You wanna go in your bed? You wanna sit in your bed? <laughs> Are you trying to go for a nap? Oh, you want this? Do you wanna just sit in there so I can finish it? She just know how to do this. So there's not, not anything super different. We added a mirror. There was a tree here before, but it wasn't getting enough light, so. I thought just a nice little mirror would open up the room and really like the light wood on this. It looks very baby room friendly. So I love her room. We always play toys in here. It's an area that we spend a lot of time in. I nurse in that chair, her naps, everything is happening in here and I love, I love the vibe we've created. Also, if you want to see her closets, it's on the container store reveal that we did on our YouTube channel, link it here. I absolutely love how our house turned out and I'm so grateful to Eric's team at Mason Truvel. They did an amazing job working with us to really listen to what our needs were, how we're gonna use the home. I learned so much about design process. It's been such a fun experience, even though it's been long. So I hope you guys like how we did everything. If you want to see more, all the links to the other videos I talked about are in the description and I will see you guys next week.